Welcome back to our mini game series. In this episode, we create the number roulette game and you'll wanna to stick to the end to see the hacks that we added to the game to make sure that you always win. Oh, that is horrible. <laughs> the number roulette game is actually quite simple. The IR turret selects a random number between one and nine, and then you pick a random number between one and nine. And of course, if you both select the wrong number, you lose the game. It's that simple. And it makes it even easier because the IR turret, Arduino, the microcontroller, has a built-in function called random. So all you have to do is give it a start number and an end number, the range of where you want it to be between, and then it will randomly pick a number between that range. Now you add an extra little chunk of code to create a different seed or a different starting point, Otherwise, it will actually pick the same sequence of random numbers every single time, and you can kind of hack the game that way. So with those two little chunks of code, we basically have the foundation of our game ready to go. Now, we kept this game a software hack, so anybody with the IR turret can recreate this quite easily. The game will actually be available in the Discord forum in my mini game series community hack post. To begin with this game, we're gonna create our function for the random number generator. This will allow us to collect that information and record that in a variable. Once we then pick our number, it will check against that variable to see if we match. And if we do, then it tells the turret to fire. If not, we have it shaking its head, yes, saying you're good to go. Now to get that first number selected, you have to press the button OK for the IR turret to pick a random number. With that information, go ahead and see if you can create this game on your own. I tested the first game and found out that it was missing something. Basically, it was missing anticipation. To create that anticipation, I just added a delay. The game now delays a random amount of time, so that way you don't know when it's going to either fire at you or confirm that it is not the right number. It really elevated the game quite a bit with that anticipation factor. Number selective, five. Okay, six. Oh man, this really does amp it up. Oh. The game is created, but it's missing something. Basically a hack. This is Hack Pack Hacker. This is not me creating just a game, but we're hackers. So we have to have the way to win the game as Mark Rober likes to. We're gonna follow the same idea where now you can press a button to ensure you win or ensure the next person loses. So I coordinated two different variables that are just booleans to see if I wanted to start the prank, either the lose prank or the win prank. And so by pressing them, I guarantee that the next number pressed either wins or loses the game. The win hack guarantees that you will be okay in the next round. So you press the star button, and even if you select the one that the turret picked, it will say that you won the game and they don't know. Your opponent doesn't know that you just cheated, you hacked the game. Now the other way, if you press the hashtag button and then hand it off to your opponent, they will lose, they will get fired at even if it's not the right number. The hashtag and the star button override the game so that way it doesn't actually evaluate against the selected number, the random number. The game can be played in two different ways. Either you go back and forth between two players until one of you loses, or you can have a person select random numbers until they hit the number that is the bad number. 